Hey everybody, who's your Jedi here with another review for you. This time I'm talking episode 12 of season 2 of Supergirl, Luther's. And uh, this episode was alright, I just felt that in a lot of ways it was kind of predictable. Um, you know, that Lillian would, of course, turn out to reject what her mother was trying to do. Well, I mean, that wasn't a surprise. It was really amped up, especially the way how everybody just seeming to assume that, you know, yeah, she's a Luther, of course she's guilty, except Kara. So, you know, Kara Kara being the protagonist, having it turn out that way made it kind of a foregone conclusion. Now, the way... Um, Lillian tries to manipulate Mina. I mean, it, it's very well done, but you can kind of see that she's very clearly BSing. If you sort of really pay attention to the flashback, where Lionel, um, looking very much the way Lex Luthor has traditionally been played, portrayed in the comics, uh, actually does seem to sincerely appreciate that his wife is handling this admittedly extremely awkward situation quite well. And I mean, it, it's just really, you can see that Lillian is, you know, playing the master manipulator once again to get what she wants. And, I mean, it's all very artfully executed, but especially that whole thing is with, you know, like, yeah, just, uh, you know, put your hand on this pad and open this thing up, and then, you know, we can totally be a real family. You know, everything has a price. Everything is constantly a test. You know, situations like that are just very classic tells of somebody who's manipulating you and doesn't really care. Um, so, well, the way all of that panned out um, wasn't, wasn't a surprise and wasn't super impressed by it, really. And there's also the whole thing of are uh, kind of getting one of the situations where, like, oh, you can catch Lillian escaping, or you can save that crane, you know, never mind the fact that you have super speed. I mean, I guess you can cut her some slack that she just took a kryptonite sh uh, shot to the chest, so she might not be 100%, but still, that, that stuff like that always occurs in my life. Um... Uh, nothing particular to say about uh, when Jimmy coming in on finding out that uh, Alex is a lesbian. Although I did like that bit with uh, John. Uh, her going, wait, you knew? And he goes, well, of course I knew. I'm a psychic. Um, okay, I'm not exactly sure if, uh, well, given her emotion, like, Martian Manor doesn't really poke around at people's heads without permission, but... You know, if you, I imagine if he's around somebody enough, or if they feel a strong emotion that just sort of punches through, it kind of radiates out of them. I mean, plus, you know, he's also a pretty smart, observant guy, so I don't really think there's a whole lot to say there. Um, I did think uh, the scenes with uh, Kara and Lillian, it really does show that they have more of a genuine connection. And the idea of, you know, Supergirl being maybe the one person who really can help redeem a Luther. I mean, it's something very interesting to play around with. And there's also the setup of, well, okay, what was that thing that uh, was in the book? Okay, again, that's interesting. I like how they are really using this episode to sort of keep Lex as a rather ominous presence floating around in the background. Um... Not really much to say about the whole Monel Miss Tessmacher thing. I mean, we all know where you where this was going. It's a CW show. You've got to have situations like that. And I was even kind of, oh, come on, really, where Kara uh, kind of sits there and lists Monel's many faults. Um, admittedly, a pretty accurate assessment. And then it's kissing time. I mean. I love the CW, but sometimes the CW is too CW for its own good. And, um, you know, this all wraps up with, I'm not even going to try, try and say his name properly. He's just popping up at the very end. Um, now, in, in, in all fairness, it does look like uh, this is going to be a, a seriously hilarious episode next week. Um... But 
but yeah, that um, that was a little much. So while this isn't a bad episode per se, it is an episode that is, for its own good, a little too heavy-handed, and at times I think a little too self self-congratulatory. I mean, yes, everybody was wrong for assuming Lena was a bad person. Um, you know, before she'd been convicted of anything, but, and it's not fair to condemn someone just because of who their family is, but, on the other hand, given the majority of evidence that they had to work with, it's understandable why they would be very distrustful of anybody with the new class of Luther. So, there is some moral ambiguity on that side, but instead of really playing around with it and you know, coming up with something, it just turned into so some unnecessary, unnecessary moralizing. So, yeah, not a bad episode by any stretch, but definitely not one of the strongest. Uh, so, I'm going to call it here, guys. Uh, as always, please comment, rate, subscribe, and of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Future Jedi, and please also join me on Tumblr at Jedi Reviewer. Until next time, take care, have a good day.